I'm Mike Avila with Sci-Fi Wire here at the studio at San Diego Comic-Con, and I am joined by Tom King, the writer of Batman, and soon to be the writer of Mr. Miracle. Thank you so much for having me. This is really an honor. I can't believe I'm here. It seems insane. <laughs> Tell me about the elevator pitch you gave DC to, to get this book back. So I'm gonna immediately disappoint you right off the bat. So I, I did a book called Vision, which, got, with, which people liked, and it was such an easy book. It was Breaking Bad Vision, super easy elevator pitch. But I couldn't pitch it as that because uh, that's, you want to know that he's going evil and it would spoil the whole thing. And so whenever, when it came out, everyone just thought it was crappy small wonder. But when it came out, people got used to it. The same thing with Mr. Miracle, I'd spoil it in the beginning. I can tell you like the lofty BS philosophical goals, but if I tell you the elevator pitch, it spoils the first issue. Tell me about your, your interest in the character though, because clearly working on Mr. Miracle, you're a fan of the character. So you go back yeah. to, to reading the, the original Kirby series. We look back at all of DC and DC made the best comics that I've ever made with Dark Knight Returns and Watchmen and New Frontier. And we're like, can we do that? Like, can we do something that's both a good comic book that you want to read, but also sort of addresses the modern age and, and actually talks like literature and stuff, mm -hmm. stuff like that? And uh, we're, obviously the answer is no, because no one can, but we can try, right? You can have ambition. <laughs> you, 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 you can, you know, you, you can swing for the fences and, you know, at least you go out swinging. I wanted to do something that talked about sort of our current time and, and, and where we are now. And regardless of your politics, like, it seems like every day you wake up and you're in a world you don't quite understand. Like, the rules that used to be the rules aren't the rules anymore. And it feels a little bit like you're trapped here, like there's no way out, kind of. And when I started thinking about how to write about that, how to write not about the politics, not about all the, I don't want just a Twitter feed in my book, but like about the emotion of modern times and we're also this little paranoia we're all feeling. Mm -hmm. To think about being trapped in something, then to get to Mr. Miracle, who's the super escape artist, the man who always escapes every trap, it just seemed thematically perfect. How did you guys work on finding that balance so that fans of the original series or people that I picked it up later on uh, can still recognize it, but know that this is Mr. Miracle for the 21st century? You can't out Kirby Kirby. If you're gonna pay tribute to that man, you can't be like, I'm gonna write as big and bombastic at him. I'm gonna have as brilliant ideas as he did. I'm gonna do the stream of American id, mixed with the Bible, mixed with pop culture, and, and create the modern world like he did. That's a fool's error because that's what Kirby did, and Kirby was unique. So the way to be the best Kirby you can be is to swerve from that. So what we did was we sort of took that world. He made an epic world, an incredible, um, space opera, and we're like, what if we took that and made it into a personal story? We took that and used that as a metaphor for one man and one woman sort of descent into a trap. And you really can't out Kirby Kirby. That's a great There's line. There's no way Take to do it. Take that home with you folks. Can't let you go without asking you about Batman, your other gig. I never heard you of know? it. Yeah, it's a little known character that you guys put out. You have a brand new artist coming on. It's pretty historic. You have Joel Jones, the first female official Batman artist. <laughs> uh, Tell me about that. It seems absolutely absurd to me. Batman's been around for 78 years, and I think it can't possibly be true. Bob Kane was on every Batman issue for 30 mm -hmm. years, and they didn't credit the writers and the artists. And it was made by a factory, and some of those people who were in that factory were women. So it's, it's a little bit like we're ignoring people who you know were meant to be ignored. So I don't want to say she's the first, because there were, they just weren't credited at the time. But I went after Joelle because Joelle was the best person for the job. If you've read her stuff on Lady Killer or what she just did on Supergirl, she draws gruesome, horrible violence that's also poetic and breaks your heart. That's the kind of stuff I wanted to be in there. It's, it's the stuff that like appeals to that 14 year old boy in you that wants to punch a bully in the face, you know? It's that kind of art. Thanks for talking with us, man. Appreciate it.